give out 15. We can get 15 seconds. Hey, well, no. well, what we see here going on still is a lot of weaving and a lot of running. I guess you've got to believe. It's another conditioning drill. They just finished the three-man weave. Now they're doing a, it's a variation of the weave, but the guy in the middle who starts with the basketball has to touch Phil Presley, the assistant coach's hands, at the opposite end of the corner. Now they're going up and down. They started with just up and down. Now you got to go up, down, up, down twice. Again, it's another conditioning drill that Byron Scott has instituted here for the Lakers. Well, in true form, uh, the veteran Kobe Bryant obviously knows when the cameras are on and when they're off. We yes. went to break, and <laughs> he chastised a couple uh, teammates and who seemed to be hiding in certain lines. Well, in particular, I think it was the rookie uh, Julius Randle. And again, this is all new to the to Julius Randle, the rookie from Kentucky, number seven draft pick for the Lakers. You can't hide in certain corners, and you want your young best players to get out here and to get some of this early conditioning when your best player at 36 years old is leading drills and right. winning drills i don't know if that's a a reason for concern <laughs> or, Rick, or, or, or optimism <laughs> because <laughs> your best player obviously you know kobe has the skill level you know probably we haven't seen since probably michael jordan right but when he's winning and leading drills and you've got an 18, 19 year old rookie that's hiding in corners. Yeah, something. You got to call him out. Yeah, you got to call him out. But also, it, it gives you cause to to be concerned because at this point now, either these players are afraid to beat Kobe because <laughs> they don't want uh, you know they don't want him coming back at him, or they're just not in the type of shape that Kobe's in. Which, like I said, and you said, at 36 years old. I think there's got to be a couple guys here that can outrun Kobe. Well, here, th there's something that's always separated Kobe. And you played with them, and I played against them, and obviously that's my position at shooting guard. One thing Kobe has always done, he kept himself in the lab. He was never out in the clubs in Hollywood or wherever partying. Kobe was always in the lab working on his game, his footwork, his jump shots, his post game, his defense. And I think that's what's separated and why, you know, I say he's a top 10 player of all time. Certainly you could make a case if you say top 10, come on, Rich. Certainly Kobe's in the top 15 of all time of greatest players ever. There's a reason why. Ooh. See, and we're talking about conditioning. Yeah. And the rookie misses the lay-in right there. And, you know, this is why Kobe's calling him to to the carpet. That, that's you got to be held, you gotta be held ac accountable. That's going to reset that drill. For sure. When you, you can't miss layups. When you're tired, when you're fatigued, that's when you start to you to shortchange those layups. And we just saw that from the rookie Julius Randle. We got to see another uh, look at Wesley Johnson, young man who was signed as a free agent again to return here to Los Angeles. He was smart enough and took Kobe's invitation, invited him to actually come and work with him this summer. And we saw He's right dead. there. Look, a look at the rookie. Yeah. Julius Randle is. <laughs> <laughs> and Kobe knows. Kobe knows that this young this young man looks up to him. And Kobe's going to stay on him, stay in his ear, challenge him to raise his level from a college basketball player to a professional basketball player. Rick, there's nothing wrong with constructive criticism. And a lot of times, you know, you hear stories of Michael Jordan being attacked in Chicago and Kobe being a lot of the same here in Los Angeles. It's all about making your teammates better. Right? raising their level of play and trying to get them the maximum effort out. And that's all Kobe Bryant is doing with Julius Randle. He's not out here trying to demean him. He wants to, look, I guarantee you this. Here we go. Julius Randle has never been pushed the way Kobe Bryant is going to push him. That's right. Ever. That's right. Ever. And he should welcome that. As a, as a yes. young player entering this league, you want to be a part of and surrounded by Individuals like Byron Scott, individuals like Kobe Bryant, Steve Nash. I, my rookie season, I came into the league. I was Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, and Robert Parrish as oh, rookie. Man. I could not have me? had a better situation to learn from foundationally how to go about being a professional, how to set myself up for a practice, how to conduct myself in practice. And, uh, and I think that set the foundation for my oh, and that resets the drill. That resets the drill. Pass out of bounds. Lazy pass there by the rookie second round pick, Jordan Clarkson, here you go, here you go. to Jeremy Tyler. Resets the drill. And this I, is how chemistry is built, too. Yeah. Because now, as teammates, you rely on each other to deliver a pass. And Rick, we share a, a common goal, a, a common bond. Yes. We're all 